NASA knows a secret about you. The U.S. government has a secret about you. The elite have a secret about you. There's a reason that black cells are literally in out of space. Your royal DNA cellular bloodline is filled with the God particle, but it lies dormant within you. Beloved, my name is Vicky Dillard. I received supernatural insight concerning your messenger DNA code from a supernatural messenger. If you're not supernatural, this isn't for you, but if it's for you, you don't want to miss my ancestral messenger DNA code activation part two on the most magical day of the year. Don't miss it. The link is below. Signs and wonders follow. Don't miss it. 12, 12, 21 is your day to ascend into your guard particle. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ungil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report is about President Ramaphosa. He has been calling out the Western world recently. This is his second time. The first time around he was talking about how the UN uh, needs to allow African countries to have a permanent seat in the Security Council. Now he's on the news because he spoke up against uh, the Western world and how they reacted, responded to South Africa reporting on the new variant. He received patronizing and disrespectful phone calls from European officials alerting him of a travel ban after South Africa reported the discovery of the new C-19 variant. He said leaders called him and said, I am sorry to tell you we are banning travel. Thank you and goodbye. He added there was no attempt to hear South Africa's point of view. He said, quote, we as Africans are respectful. We have always been, and maybe that is where our mistake is and why we were colonized in the way we were colonized, because we respect too much and we say respect us as well. Do you know what the EU Council Chief's response to this was? He called it dramatic. He said that this was dramatic, the fact that we're saying, or the South African president is calling this apartheid, like why are you um, doing what you're doing right now because of this new variant, not just with this new variant. When first uh, C19 came out, you know what happened. So um, he said, this is dramatic. This is how disrespectful they are. He doesn't even try to hide it and, you know, uh, say this is a misunderstanding. He just called it dramatic. This is EU chief I'm talking about. So I understand what the president is saying and we get it. This is what he's saying is exactly what is happening on the ground. Sometimes I hear the African diaspora community um, saying that like they're confused. How come you Africans are still nice to these people? And I didn't have any answer other than we're just like thought at a very young age you would treat um, a foreigner better than even your neighbors because it's like you have to show how uh, respectful you are in a way. I don't, I don't know if I'm making sense, but there's a huge focus on, you know, treating guests or foreigners or new people, even other than uh, foreigners, people that you don't know that might come from a different city, but they're still in the same country. You are told like, you treat them, make them feel like they're at home, kind of. So maybe he's right. Maybe that's what's affecting us because we were programmed to just be respectful, respectful. And then the other person, these people are just, they just keep offending us and offending us. At some point, you know, we have to get up and say, okay, I've respected you for, for a long time and tried to be nice to you. But, you know, that is not being given to me. So I have, what's right is right. What's wrong is wrong. So what you're doing is wrong. We need to stop what we're doing. Otherwise, um, I don't think they'll stop and we have to be the ones to set our boundaries as Africans as a whole. I'm talking about everyone in Africa. We need to start we need to start saying no to being mistreated, to being disrespected like the way we <laughs> always are being disrespected whether it's in their media or by their politicians or by their representatives we've always been disrespected so now it's time to say no and i'm happy that he mentioned this because it will shine some light on it and people can see um how they treat us and if they can treat the president that way imagine <laughs> us average people like they could care less so it's good to have this information knowledge is key anyways guys let us know down below what your thoughts are about what ramaphosa said as well as EU chief's response. I am Ogil Zalalem bringing you this report. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.
Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the African Diaspora News Channel app. Now available on Google Play and the Apple App Store. Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy today on Amazon.